Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. Today we're talking about how to stream a slow internet using your phone. So whether you have an iPhone or an Android, you might have wanted to stream at some point. You might have been watching your favorite streamer have fun streaming his favorite game, you know, talking to chat and having an overall fun time. Or maybe you just enjoy mobile gaming so much that you decided to stream it and share it with your viewers. Or maybe you just want to stream yourself talking and having an IRL just chatting stream. But reality must have hit you hard when you realize that your internet connection is too slow for streaming. Trust me, I have been there. This is why I decided to make this video where I show you guys how to stream your mobile mobile screen to YouTube, Twitch or Facebook or any other platform of your choosing without any lag using slow internet connection. So as you can see if we go to speedtest.net and start a speed test you would notice that my upload speed as you can see is below 1 megabit per second coming in at 0.78 which is really low I mean Twitch recommends an upload speed of at least 3 megabits per second for streaming and here I am without even 1 megabit per second and I'm trying to stream and yet I've been able to actually stream without any lag whatsoever to Twitch and so will you after watching this video. Now all of this is possible because of this app called Prism Live Studio. I mean, let me show you. I have collaborated with Prism Live Studio to bring you this video and help you guys actually achieve your goal of streaming without any problems. So first let me tell you about this app. Prism Live Studio is a streaming app. A lot similar to Streamlabs OBS but actually a lot better. You can find this app on the Google Play Store or if you have an iPhone you can find it on the Apple Store. So it's available for both Android and iOS. Once you open the app you'll be greeted with a screen if you open this app for the first time telling you to log in. You can choose various login methods. I just happen to choose my Google account to log in with. So once you open this app, click on your logo on the top right corner, click in this gear button near your logo, after that go to stream destination and over here as you can see there is various destinations that you can stream to. So basically you can, you can connect your YouTube channel, you can connect your Facebook account, your Twitch account and various other streaming platforms and you can actually stream to multiple streaming platforms at the same time using only your phone. I mean, how crazy is that? You can choose the streaming destination of your choosing. Should be the first thing once you once you signed in. I just happen to choose to stream to Twitch. That's my favorite streaming platform. And when you, when you go back, you'll be greeted back with this screen right here, which basically has your camera over there. I mean, I mean I'm not going to be showing my face. I haven't done a face reveal yet. But yeah, as you can see, this is actually the camera. So my phone is actually laying on the desk. On the top left over here, you can basically control whether or not you want your flash to be on, your flashlight basically, as you can see. You can control your flash over here. You can control your microphone, whether you want your microphone to be on or off. You can even control your camera and whether you, whether or not you want your full screen view or not. You can flip the front facing camera and you can also save video after streaming. So basically this app will allow you to actually save your stream basically to your phone as if you were recording it. I mean, how crazy is that? This is some computer level stuff, okay? And you can also have professional camera settings basically so you can tweak it to your, to your preference. On the bottom, you can also see that you can flip between photo, video, live and connect modes, okay? So I'm gonna explain each one of these. So photo mode basically allows you to take some pretty cool pictures using your, your camera. You can choose between literally hundreds of filters and video effects. I mean, look at this. There is a cute photo effect, you know, the selfie, and there's multiple colors and filters, basically. You can choose between a lot. I mean, there is a lot of filters. I mean, there is a lot of filters you can choose from. Don't even get me started on the video effects. This is this, These are some AR video effects. There is also video mode. There is also video mode, which allows you to record videos using the app, whilst also still having a lot of filters available that you have in photo mode with added AR effects, as you, mean, as you could see. I mean, as you can see, there is AR effects over here. Obviously, there's a face on the camera, so that's why they're not applied, but basically, you can add like a hat. You can add basically AR effects, artificial reality effects, okay, on your video using this app. I mean, how crazy is that? Right over there. How crazy is that? And as if that's not crazy enough, you can also, you know, choose a color and use it to draw on your screen. You can draw. Sorry. You can literally draw on your screen. I mean, how crazy is that? With whatever color you want. I mean, there's a lot of colors. You can choose whatever color you want and you can draw whatever you want. You can type whatever you want on your screen. So let me delete all of those. And now we go to the most important mode in this app, the live mode, which is what we want. This mode will allow you to stream. It has a lot of effects, like it has all of the effects that video mode has and more. 
In this mode you can swap to the right and you'll notice that you can add media to your stream which is basically an option that allows you to add videos to your screen or maybe photos or maybe photos if you want to. You can also add music by choosing from a reasonably sized library provided by the Prism Live team or you can basically choose your own device music. One of my favorite tools is actually this text tool that they have added. This basically allows you to add whatever text you want on screen. You can add anything from simple text to animated title text. I mean, how crazy is that? You can add animated title text while streaming using only your phone. I mean, that is mind boggling to me. You can also add cool animations over there to plug in your social media on screen while actually streaming. I mean, how crazy is that? You can do this on the go. You don't even have to animate anything yourself. You have it pre-made. You can also have captions like lower thirds and stuff. I mean, you can add lower thirds as you could see so you can introduce new characters to a stream. You can add other cool animations. I mean, there is a lot of things that you can add. I mean, I am actually impressed that you can do all of this only using your phone. I mean, it's just mind blowing to me that how far technology has come and how we are able to do everything that we could do on computers and more using our phones. I mean, obviously this app took it to a whole new level with the really cool and thought out features and the pre-made animations. But yeah, I've really enjoyed the animations and stuff. Anyways, last but not least, we have the widgets where you can basically add, you know, your Prism Live chat and you can add anything from the web. Basically, this the web option will basically open a new navigator, a web navigator like Google Chrome or something. You can load up any page you want from the internet and display it on your stream. So basically, if you want, if you want a subscribe account, a follow account, or any countdown of, you, of your choosing, you can add it right over there on your stream using your phone. And, and last but not least, we have Screencast, which basically allows you to share, record, or stream your phone's screen. So maybe you have a mobile game that you want to stream, or you just have some cool thing that you want to show your viewers on your phone. All you need to do is swap to the right and press Screencast, and bam, you can share your screen to your viewers now. Anyways, once you have everything set up, Press that big ready button right in the middle. Let me show you what settings you should use if you have slow internet connection. So over here, you can change the title of your stream. As you can see, I have it done, so I'm not gonna be changing it. And underneath it, you will see your logo and you will see your the category of your stream. So for me, it's gonna be just chatting, basically. You can choose the category, the category and Near the category, you can basically choose the quality of your stream, which is exactly the thing that we need to be tweaking so our stream doesn't lag. So press that button and this window will appear. So do this if your internet is 1 megabits per second or lower. So turn on adaptive bitrate basically. Go to resolution and select 360p. The bitrate you cannot change because we turned on adaptive bitrate. And for the frame rate, select 24 FPS. The keyframe interval, I'm not going to be changing that and this, these are the best settings if you have a slow internet connection as I do. I mean, I've been tweaking, I've been playing around with the settings and I've found that these are the most optimal settings if you want to stream your actual camera or your, or your actual phone screen. If you actually have a decent internet connection and you want to stream with a better quality, then still leave adaptive bitrate on and crank up the resolution to 720p. Turn on the frame rate to 60 FPS so you can get that smooth stream going. And once everything is in order, all you need to do is press the go live button and bam, your stream will start and you will not be lagging. Anyways guys, this will wrap it up for today's video. In my opinion, Prism Live Studio takes a lot of the confusion out of the streaming and makes streaming, whether it is on your computer or your mobile phone, a lot easier. Obviously, Prism Live Studio has also made an Windows app, I've made a video about it, and not to mention how many features and quirks they have added. I mean, trust me, Prism Live Studio are basically setting you up for success with their with their app. That's why I recommend it, and that's why they have the Foxy seal of approval. Anyways, guys, this is where I put up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope that this video helped you. If it did, then be sure to leave a like rating on today's video so you can help it reach as many people as possible and possibly help them out. Also hit that subscribe button because I'm on my way to 5,000 subscribers and all help is appreciated. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.